Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. From November 13th in Korea, individuals who do not wear masks in public places, including on public transportation, will face a fine of 100,000 Korean won. During the Level 1 social distancing period, mask usage is mandatory for 23 types of public facilities, public transportation, meeting and demonstration sites, medical facilities, places of worship, and all gatherings of 500 or more individuals. First-time violators will be excused with a warning, but fines will be levied for repeated violations. During a recent public forum held at the Korean National Assembly, participants urged the central government to take positive action to realize the early return and development of former U.S. military sites. Chaired by a senior research official of the Institute for National Security Strategy, this forum featured two presentations, the return of USFK sites and impact on local communities by a researcher of the Korea Institute for Defense Analyses, and reinforcing the role of government in regional revitalization by a professor of Shinhan University. The presentations were followed by general discussions by specialists from diverse sectors. Referring to various issues arising from the delayed development of former U.S. military sites, participants generally agreed on the need for the central government to expedite the return and development of USFK sites as well as to make related institutional improvements and promote medium to long term private investments. In Gwangju City of Gyeonggi Province, a ceramic cultural event took place to pay tribute to unknown ceramic artists in history and to promote the preservation of Korean traditional ceramic culture. Hosted jointly by Gwangju City, the Korea Ceramic Foundation, and the Gwangju Royal Ceramic Cooperative. This event was held at the city's unknown ceramic artist monument. The occasion focused on an incense ritual that used to be performed locally by individual ceramic artist groups to pay tribute to ceramic artists of the past. The ceramic cultural event was organized to promote the cultural pride and spirit of ceramic artists and creators in the province. On November 9th, the 2020 Korea Balanced Development Exhibition opened online with a separate hall designated for Gyeonggi Province. The Gyeonggi Province Hall consists of two sections, one for the Green New Deal and another for social safety networks, under the common theme of Gyeonggi Province continuously innovates. These sections showcase major policies of the current administration, including those pertaining to the demilitarized zone and basic income as well as river and ocean development. This exhibition can be viewed via its website, www.koreanbalance.kr. The Gyeonggi Province Hall will remain open until the end of the year. At a budget policy meeting held with National Assembly members of the province on November 2nd, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung asked participants to help with provincial economic policy pursuits such as the introduction of basic housing, basic loans, and basic income land taxes. During the meeting, Governor Lee stated that governments and all social sectors must work together to improve people's economic conditions. Governor Lee also suggested that national subsidies totaling 8.2 trillion Korean won be provided for 117 key provincial projects. Some apartment guards in Gyeonggi Province have been experiencing difficulties due to delays in wage payments. However, thanks to the non-regular employee support program of the provincial administration, these overdue wage issues were resolved. Through this recently launched program, the province helps temporary workers who cannot easily unionize form representative organizations through which they can assert their rights. In November, Gyeonggi Province and the Gyeonggi Tourism Organization will jointly operate online Gyeonggi Marine Tourism events. From November 14th to 24th, a desired destination reposting event will take place. 
Anyone can participate by commenting on the event's Instagram account. This will be followed by the public quiz event, Kyunggi Ocean Quiz, Where Have You Been? from November 23rd to 29th. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.